Step three, solve the Rubik's master like the Rubik's cube. After grouping the centers and pairing the edges, the Rubik's master can now be solved like the original Rubik's cube. A solution guide of the original Rubik's cube can be found at www.rubix.com. There may be two stages when you're solving the Rubik's Master, like the original Rubik's Cube, where additional steps are needed. These two cases are referred to as parities. We will come on to parity fixes shortly, and they are only required towards the end of the solve. If we only turn the outside faces when solving the Rubik's Master, like the original Rubik's Cube, we do not affect our center pieces or our paired edge pieces. From this point, imagine the Rubik's Master is like the original Rubik's Cube and the two center slices are the same as the middle row here. First, we solve the white cross, as you would do with the original Rubik's Cube. Next, we solve the white side. If you can't solve the white corners, you may have the centers in the wrong color order. You may need to go back and resolve the centers and the edges. When solving the Rubik's Master, like the Rubik's Cube, you only turn the outside faces. Then we solve the middle layer. Make the yellow cross. When it comes to making the yellow cross, this is where you may find your first parity. Sometimes it will come up, and other times you'll get lucky and can just complete the cube like the original Rubik's Cube. At this point, if you have none or two yellow edge pairs on the up face, you can complete the yellow cross as you would normally do. If there is one or three yellow edge pairs, then you've got the parity and you need to complete an additional algorithm. If you have one yellow edge pair on the up face, place it so it's on the right and a pair here. If you have three, make sure you have the yellow edge pair here facing you. And we just complete one algorithm. Notice that the left and right are slice turns. The front, back and up are face turns. Right, inside, clockwise, twice. Back, twice. Up, clockwise, twice left, inside, clockwise, up, clockwise, twice, right, inside, counterclockwise, up, clockwise, twice, right, inside, clockwise, up, clockwise, twice, face, clockwise, twice, right, inside, clockwise, face, clockwise, twice, left, inside, counterclockwise, back, twice, right, inside, clockwise, twice. This will now form your yellow edges in a position you should be able to complete the yellow cross as normal. Now you can make the yellow cross. Make the up face all yellow. Now you can position your yellow corners. Position the final yellow edges. This is where the second parity may occur and you may need to use algorithms that are not in the original Rubik's Cube solution guide. If there are no yellow edge pairs positioned correctly, complete the algorithm from the original Rubik's Cube guide. You will now have one or two edge pieces positioned correctly. If one is, complete the normal algorithm you would do to solve the three by three. This is our next parity. Complete the following algorithm. If two yellow edge pairs are now placed correctly, similar to this, either opposite each other or next to each other, we just need to complete an algorithm to correct them so we can complete our Rubik's Master. When the correctly placed edges are opposite to each other, hold the Rubik's Master so the correctly placed edges are on the left and the right faces. If the two correctly placed edge pairs are next to each other, place them so one is on the left face and one is on the back, and then complete this algorithm. Here is the algorithm. Notice all the right turns are slice turns. The words are here to help you remember the algorithm. Right, inside, clockwise, twice. clockwise twice, right, inside, clockwise twice, up and inside, up, 
clockwise twice, right inside clockwise twice, inside up clockwise twice. Now you'll have one of the matched edge pairs in the right position. So just complete the algorithm as you would do normally. Your Rubik's Smart Star will now be complete. Congratulations, you have now solved the Rubik's Master. Now you have a completed Rubik's Master, use the guide to remind yourselves of the algorithms and how to position the cube. Learning songs and charts is a great way to help you memorize the algorithms. Once you've got to grips with the Rubik's Master, check out our other products and set yourself a new challenge. Take pictures of your success and tag Rubik's Official on social media so we can share your posts. You are now part of a community of solvers and we can't wait to follow your solving journey.